Mm-hmm. If a coach is is listening to this, and let's say they're a, a swimming coach, so an individual sport, or maybe even a basketball coach, and they're coaching a team of women, how important is it that they understand the differences between male and female physiology in order to kind of tailor the the training program that they're they're putting their athletes through? Uh, it's a big ask for everyone to understand it. And it's a big ask for everyone to try to tailor it. But what is not a big ask is to actually understand where your female athletes are, either from an oral contraception perspective or if they are um, naturally cycling where they are in their menstrual cycle and making those appropriate health questions so that you have the opportunity to see where you can push your athlete and where you need to pull back. And if you're looking at teams, right? So you don't make the judgment on if they're gonna be on the start line or not on a day that your um, female athlete usually feels flat. So it's just bringing that awareness from a health perspective into the coaching environment, one, to reduce the taboo-ness, but two, to be able to be smarter about how you push and how you recover within those individual factors. Mm -hmm.